It's crazy what a difference a few weeks make. Liliana is now pulling up on everything. And it's trying she's just trying to balance and she's nonstop and she and she doesn't stop until she gets what she wants. And it's so awesome watching her be so passionate about getting and doing what she wants. And now we wonder why children always continue to push forward and 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 eventually get to what they're looking to do and with whether that's walking or whether that's crawling or whether that's rolling. It's because they obsess about it. And Leah and I, my wife Leah and I, are super excited um, and loving every bit of it. So as we reflect over the year 2020 and start the new beginning of 2021, I thought there was no better time than now to walk through the four levels of value and how they impact you in your business. Now, the four levels of value start with level number one. And level number one is implementation. So when you're going to a hotel, right, and you go in and you you, you rent a room, right? Now, when you when you leave that room and you you know you you you, you slept in the bed, you, you've used a shower, you've used towels, all that stuff, right? Now, when you use, when you leave that hotel room, the person that comes in and cleans up that hotel room, right, is implementing for that hotel, right? They're implementing the cleaning and, 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 their, and their job is extremely important. Like you wouldn't go rent a hotel room with dirty towels and dirty sheets and, and, a, and a bed that wasn't made up, right? So if you wouldn't rent a hotel room, if that wasn't done, that means that that job of cleaning that hotel room is extremely important, right? But that person that's doing the implementation of cleaning that room is probably making the least amount of money in that entire hotel. And what you're like, Oliver, so how does that, how does that impact the level of value? Well, the problem with that is that when you're implementing, there's, there's limits to it, right? Like there's limits to, first off, there's limits to how many hours you can work. And second, there's limits to the, the the value that's put on that implementation and it's always being farmed out to a lot of people and a lot of people can do that job and if you go back to economics 101 right supply and demand when there's a big supply of people that can do your job then the demand for uh the demand for what you what you can do is is really low. Therefore, you're going to get paid the least amount. So, going back to the hotel example, the person that's cleaning the room it's really important. Yet they get paid the least amount. The implementers, right? So they make between you know twenty five thousand dollars and seventy five thousand dollars. And then that can also be, you know, if you look at implementation from a construction standpoint, those are the laborers, right? The laborers are are an extremely important job. Like if you don't have laborers out there executing on on the construction project and, and, and using manual labor to execute and complete it, like the project doesn't get done, right? So implementation is extremely important. It just doesn't get paid the most amount of value. It's actually the least amount of value. That's level one implementation. Now, the second level of value is unification, right? So what is unification? Well, unification is unifying the implementators. So like when you're, when you're at that hotel example, right? You have, you have people that are implementing cleaning the rooms at the construction project. You have the people, the laborers that are, are laboring and, and installing the pipe and, and demolishing the walls, right? But you need to have people unifying them, working on and executing on one goal. And those are the managers, right? And as you, as the manager, 
they make more than the the implementators, right? Be, because they're unifying a group of people. And as they unify that group of people, they can execute on, on the goal at hand. And the unif- the unifiers, right? The unifiers are capped between, you know, 75,000 and 250,000. Like you can, you can create a, 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 a living being a unifier. A lot of people have, right? You can definitely make a living being a unifier, right? And unifiers are, are, are important. They're important because if not, imagine, imagine having a, a hotel and nobody was, um, unifying the team of people at a hotel. Like you'd have everybody all over the place doing whatever they wanted to do. Like you have to have direction. You have to have um, an intention. And then so that all of the attention, all of the, all of the, the people at the hotel that are working for the hotel, all of the uh, attention is getting focused into the intention, which is to serve the client. Right. So you got your unifiers, right? Those are the managers and they make between, you know, 75,000 and 250,000, but there's still a cap. Why is there a cap? Because there's caps to how many people you can manage, right? You, you can't manage 2 million people, right? And have directing to one person, like that person can only has a cap or a, a limit to how many people they can manage. And, and, depending on the, the level of, of um, complexity of the people and the tasks that they're managing is going to determine the level of, of pay uh, a unifier is going to be able to make, right? So then we have the, the third level of value. And the third level of value is communication. It's communication. It's what we're doing right now. It's what, it's what, a CEO does at a, at a firm. He's communicating, moving the masses, right? It's what what happens with um, you know movie uh, movie stars, right? They're communicating. They're moving the masses. They're 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 doing these movies, and they have you know tens of millions of people coming to watch their movies, hundreds of millions of people watching their movies, right? It's the, it's like the um, the, the music artists, right? They they go out and s- they sell their their songs, right? And and they have tens of millions of people watching their songs and playing their songs and listening to their songs. They're communicating a message that m- moves the masses. It's exactly what we're doing right now. I'm communicating to you through a podcast. I'm communicating. I'm communicating a message of, of entrepreneurship, of growth, of, of, of business, of, of how to position your company in a way to win, right? And that message will either move people or won't move people. And the more people that message does move, then the more people can, that, that message can have an impact on. And then the more people that that message can have an impact on, positions communication as the third level of value. So communicators, they can make, you know, 250 grand if you're okay. And then you can make upwards of 20, 30, 40 million dollars. You see some, what some of these movie stars make, right? These massive, great communicators, they, they can make upwards of 20, 30 million dollars, right? Communicating a message that moves the masses, that, 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 that connects with people. Right. And, and for me, you know, moving into a position of um, trying to get better at communication, what happens? You know, you run into, you know, the, 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 the same roadblocks you run into when when you're trying to start anything new. And for me, that is that roadblock is obviously I want to have everything be perfect. And I, I know it is, it's not going to be perfect from the beginning, but it still has, I have a desire for it to be perfect. And that desire for me wanting something to be perfect has actually prevented me from doing things oftentimes. And, 
and not even doing things, but having the things take a hundred times longer than, than they would have been if I had just done it and just produced and created it. Right. Cause I'm trying to be so creative yet. You can't be creative without creating. Right. So it's best to just get out of your own way, move the perfectionism out and keep moving forward. And that's exactly what I have been implementing through creating this podcast and, um, and, and, and working on being a better communicator, working on um, trying to string together um, different ideas and thoughts and, and, and scratching through it. And I, I appreciate you for being there and listening to it with me, you know, and working through it with me Um, because it's easy to have an idea, right? It's hard to implement and, and take action on that idea and consistently take action on the idea day after day after day. And um, yeah, that was a big takeaway for me. Like with this podcast is like in order to be creative, you have to create. And you have to create consistently. And then it's getting all of the, the baggage that everybody has. Um, and it, it comes in a different form, whether it's you're trying to be perfect or you, you have you have your self-doubt and all of all of the things that just come along with the, the human element. It's the it's the weakness in the human element. It's uh it's it's something that everybody's oh I something's the matter with me because I, I, I have a negative thought. Like, no, that's, everybody has that. I wish there was one 24 hour period where I didn't have one negative thought. No, we all have that. We just got to keep moving forward through it. And those who have that feeling and do it anyway, are those that are always more successful in life because we all have that thought. You just got to do it anyway. Right? So the third level of value is communication. And then the fourth level of value is imagination. Those are, those are the, the people that are out there imagining what is possible and then putting a system behind it and, and reaping massive, massive rewards behind that. Like we think of Steve Jobs, like he, him imagining what the cell phone is now today. Like he imagined that 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Right. And, and they put a system behind that at Apple that has created Apple to be a $2 billion company. Right. That imagination and, and, and that fire and that desire to keep build a team to push that, put, push that forward. Right. And to, to make that what it is is unbelievable. And look at all of the value that was created through that. Right. So, you know, imagination can, it can make you in hundreds of millions of dollars. That's the highest level of value. So when we think through those four levels of value, implementation, unification, communication, and imagination, if you're stuck in an area in life, Think about where you are in those four buckets. Are you the implementer? And is there a limit to what, you're, what you can do, right? Like even if you were to work all 24 hours in a day, there's still a limit. So you got to pull yourself out of the implementation, right? And, 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 and use the model mimic master, right? You created the model so, so someone can else can mimic you in the implementation until they can master you in the implementation. And then that can pull you out. Right. And then as you get pulled out and you, you've, you've built enough implementators underneath you, then that's when you have unification and that's when you're unifying a team that can go execute on the business model. Right. So if you're stuck implementing everything in your business, how can you go to that second level of, of value to unification, right? And then as you go to the second level of value and you're, you've built a team and you're, and you're you moving that team um, in a direction of, of, of growth, 
How can you go to the next level of value and, and be a, a better communicator and to the person that's unifying those that team and that's continuing to move that team forward, right? And then the, the fourth level of value is like, what new ideas are you going to implement? Not, not hundreds of ideas. Like it's not hundreds of ideas. It's you're always one idea away. Right. But if you're working on the business and in the business, right. If you're working in the business, how are you ever supposed to see the, the, the actual um, opportunities that are happening around the business? It's really hard to. So that's why as you continue to go up that, that, that value ladder, you then be able to, are able to put yourself in a position to use more of their imagination so that you can say, oh, this is the next opportunity that the business needs to move into, right? And you're doing that and you're picturing it in your mind. It's not there yet, but you're picturing it in your mind. You're seeing how your, your business can get there. Right. And how and the direction your business needs to go in. Right. And that's what you're using your imagination and all the value that's created through that imagination. And so that's the four levels of value. Um, And if and if we all have 24 hours in a day, how can you spend your time more effectively to create the greatest impact using those four levels of value? Implementation is level number one in the value ladder. Unification is level number two in the value ladder. Communication is level number three in the value ladder. And imagination is level number four in the value ladder. Now that you know the four levels of value, how can you position yourself to start working on the level three and level four in that value ladder, the highest levels of value, the highest impacts that you're going to be able to have in your life and in your business and for the people that you surround yourself with is focusing on those higher levels of value. If you're not getting the results you want in life, how can you focus on those, those upper echelon levels of value? Maybe you need to stop majoring in the minor things those lower levels of value, the implementation and the unification and start majoring in some of those major things like the communication and the imagination. And then maybe you major in those things for long enough periods of time, one year, two years, three years, right? You start to get the massive impacts those levels of value always bring to the marketplace. So with love, keep putting one foot in front of the next and continue to build your legacy. Thank you for listening to The Imperfect Entrepreneur. Please remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. You can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook at Oliver Fernandez 3 I have new videos just like this one dropping every week. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you wanna hear next. Until then, keep growing and keep learning. Just do it.